my work has to do with politics in a way. I am a French citizen in the UK. Uh, the country is very divided at the moment. And you've helped me find a point of stability in this politically turbulent time. So I wanted to really thank you for this. But I want to go beyond just be neutral. But we got to stop here for just a minute. You're helping everyone, and it's really a good conversation. You just did a segment about this politically, what were your words? T turbulent. This politically turbulent times. And a lot of people would agree with you. It's not just where you are that's <laughs> upended. There's a lot of it going around. But here's the thing, doesn't matter why you feel this way, whether you made it up or whether you observed it. If it feels like turbulent times, you cannot receive anything that will help. When you've got turbulent in your belly, when it feels turbulent, when it feels out of control, and so maybe not the easiest thing to take a subject that's so big that matters to you so much that you've thought about so much but we think under these conditions that we can accomplish something really meaningful together so let's just take a moment to use this segment this segment intending so we're using this moment to plan for the political segments that are coming next how's that so in this moment we are deliberately adjusting and we're assuming ourselves as you so when we say we we mean you we mean you in your physical form we i we me i we're going to use this moment in time to accomplish within me a feeling of well-being around this subject the opposite of turbulent times all right so hang in there you're gonna like this we're writing in the Esther has a little book she loves her book I love variety I enjoy variety of ideas I appreciate different points of view I acknowledge the value in every point of view I love knowing that I chose to be in this body at this time because the variety of ideas adds to a fuller more delicious whole I like knowing that government or politics is not creating my reality I like knowing that I am and I like knowing that I'm allowing from all venues of life including politics based upon how I feel so I like knowing that just because they're behaving that way doesn't mean that I have to accept that at face value because they're behaving that way and 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 just like a buffet I can choose from it what makes for the best meal for me right here and now and I like stating unequivocally that I like more ideas way more than less ideas I like lots of contrast and diversity way more than uniformity and just one thought I love the palette that I get to choose from I adore what's going on out there I am fascinated with the way minds work I'm fascinated with the way people play off one another I'm fascinated with the society with the sociology of this world I'm fascinated by watching the law of attraction do what it does it's fascinating to watch people and their different points of attraction and what they bring to themselves I like knowing how to bring to myself what feels good and that's the point of who I am that I wish to share now let's ramp up the stakes a little bit I really like knowing that the law of attraction is responding to all of us and I adore thinking about what my inner beings point of attraction is my inner being who's been walking around with me all these years and listening while I've been put into my vortex my ideas of this deliciously balanced environment I love knowing that my inner being is all over that I love knowing that that has gelled in my vortex and I really 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 like the notion 
the concept, the idea, this sure, sure thing. I like this so much. I like knowing that my inner being has a point of view that is non-resistant and that the law of attraction is responding to my inner beings point of view. And I love just thinking about what that means in terms of future segments in our life experience. Never before have I been so actualized. Never before have I been so focused. Never before have I put so much in my vortex. And I believe I know for sure. I love thinking about this. Never before have so many other billions of people all over the world done the same thing. Oh, what a vortex we have. That is the basis of our future segments. <laughs> and I adore the feel how we're using words, appreciate, love, adore, like I savor the feeling of knowing that I can find that feeling place. I do it often, which means now I'm joining my inner being in that knowing, which means there's no split energy in me, which means now what comes out of my mouth, not lip service, but pure, positive, powerful source energy, the energy that creates worlds flowing unequivocally, not diluted through me. And I am fascinated with and eager about and thrilled beyond ways to say it that my power of influence now is radiating from me in meaningful ways for those who are ready to receive it and i take no responsibility for who receives it and who doesn't because when i do i split away from my inner being so i'm just going to keep myself tuned right up there with what's in my vortex, with what the world has put into this mass consciousness vortex. And I'm going to enjoy watching things evolve in meaningful ways for these harmonies. I love thinking about the fact that if I didn't recognize disharmony, I wouldn't know about harmony. And how would I go about really be a participant, not an observer? I want to do more than watching our first question to you. It's a trick question. It's really important. It's the most important question you'll ever be asked. So make sure you get this one, right? Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. no pressure. Could you feel that in what we were doing together here, that that is doing a lot? Definitely. Which means if you really mean that, and we can tell you do, that means you understand the vibrational value. In other words, it's in the process of becoming. And so if what you generated there, you recognize that it has value. Isn't it logical to you that those thoughts will turn to things and that you will be inspired to an action? Once you settle in there, that you'll be in the right place at the right time over and over again, that someone really ready to hear you will hear you say something just at the right time. You'll have an insight that no one else has quite had. Things are in the process of getting ready and those thoughts are turning to things. And if you can just not freak out and do what most people do by isolating this exact moment in time and using it as it stands to have your knee jerk reaction to it. If you, instead of doing that, you're out ahead of it by segment intending so that you're lining up with what's in the vortex, then you are thrilled in this moment while it's in the state of becoming not being one of the normal humans who's going to complain, 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 and then expect a miracle. I'm not in America. You know what a miracle is? A miracle is something that can never happen. It's what people want. They say, I want to not do anything about my point of attraction, but I want my point of attraction to produce really good things, even though I'm doing nothing about it. That would be a miracle because it would defy the law of attraction. You would be the one exception in all of the universe to the law of attraction. Good basis there. So now where are you? Want to talk? Your turn. I, um, about what we've been talking about. I'm in a good place to watch what is unfolding without having the need to know all the detail. I can run with it in a smooth way, in a seamless way. Yeah, yeah. I can find my stability yeah. at any point in time. I don't depend on other people's opinions, views, actions to feel blessed in the country I've chosen so that to delicious live in. to know. Isn't that delicious to know? Which means you just lined up with your vortex, which means as you insist on feeling like this, 
now you have control of your point of attraction and oh are you gonna love the ideas that flow and the timing that comes and the way the universe lines you up with people the person you find sitting yourself next to or the things you overhear the influence is mighty when it's just vibrational for some reason and we get it humans like actualization even more than they like vibration and all of that is coming to Esther sort of is doing the same thing wanting to find that place and she is at things she's rendezvousing with that she had a completely different impression about and now she's hearing it through this gut check she's realizing how much stability has always been there that she was overlooking in her deciding that all of that is just one way when it isn't there's nothing on either side or any of the sides that's all one way there's much more melding of things going on and there is much more harmony within many more people than sometimes you let yourself know really good enough Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.